What's going on everybody? This is me Alex and I'm going to start off by saying it's been a while since I've done one of these uh, screencasting videos but uh, I'm going to this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Sims 3 for free uh, just the game itself uh, not any expansion packs because I'm going to download those on my own time when I want to because uh, to have every expansion pack installed and downloaded it's about 20 gigabytes so uh, it's going to take me a little while to download but uh, this is a torrent so you are going to require a few things you're going to require a uTorrent as well as the torrent itself which is available on the pirate bay by razor 911 um as well as the serial number which i will provide right over here so it's actually uh, very accessible here i will paste that in the description as well paste it in the comments because uh right now on youtube you cannot com uh you cannot copy out of the description so I'm gonna have to post that on the comments as well so uh, let's go right ahead and get started so the first thing you're going to do is we're gonna go right ahead and open up uh, the internet browser and I chose Google Chrome uh, all you're gonna do is go on to the link will be in the description it's this one right here um, it's Sims 3 Razor uh, 1911 and you see this most popular one you can just type in Sims 3 uh, Razor 1911 is final max speed and it's about uh, five five and a half gigabytes uh, so it is a bit it, it is a bit large but uh, that should take you know about good two hours to download for me uh, these cedars are 3,000 uh, about 3,000 cedars which is good right now so your download speed should be pretty high um, now you are gonna require power ISO so what you'd have to do is you'd have to go um, power ISO and then you're gonna go to create burn and you click on this one right here now what you're gonna do is it's gonna be greedy right here and uh, you're gonna go to download right here and then you're gonna go ahead and download the power ISO for a 64-bit computer which most computers now are 64-bit so 90% chance is gonna be this one right here for you but if you are running on a 32-bit make sure to download this one or else it will be incompatible with your computer the next one we're gonna need is of course uTorrent so that's easy uh, all you type in is uh, uTorrent so just type that in right there and then uTorrent should be right over here um, very simple right here just download for Windows it will actually automatically sense so if you're on a Mac unfortunately this, this one will not work for you but there are OS X versions out there that will work the same file size same by Razer 1911 so it's it's no problem all you do is just go right here download free download because these are this is all free and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on get this torrent and now once you get that torrent you're gonna get an ad that's gonna be open up yeah right now BitTorrent or uTorrent doesn't matter I'm gonna be using BitTorrent right now but it's gonna bring up this right here I'm gonna go ahead and save this in my downloads folder as well as just start torrent and then it's gonna be give me the, it's gonna load a whole bunch of cedars and trackers into it so I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK and then it's gonna start my loader or or torrent up right here and it's gonna be checking the torrent to make sure there are no bugs or any leecher, leechers in there so once that happens it's gonna go ahead and take you back to your home screen or minimize the main screen in the meantime you can have or before that download power ISO as well as um, the other thing you're gonna need to open power side power power ISO once you have that downloaded wait for your BitTorrent or uTorrent to go ahead and finish checking the file and then in the meantime I'm gonna pause the video and be right back for you guys once your Sims 3 is finally downloaded now, I left mine run to run overnight. Uh, it's because I started this tutorial way over at night and I did not want to f um, finish it because it was late at night. So I just went overnight. And then once you finish it downloading, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you want to stop it so you're not seeding anymore. And that's that's um, a okay thing to do. It's The reason is because it can actually transfer leechers onto your computer if you do not have a strong enough uh, virus, antivirus system. So the next thing you're going to do is right click and you click on open containing folder. Then you can click on a continue or just do not show and continue. Then it's going to open this up. In the meantime, you can close uTorrent because you don't need that. Now you're going to get the crack in here and then it's going to be showing you guys the Sims 3 and then the Sims 3 host.dll. And I'm going to show you guys how to transfer that over. But the final version patch right over here as well as this right over here, which is the final uh, right here, the Sims 3. Which is what you're going to want to open, so that, that you want to keep that in mind. So you want to first install this, and I mentioned to install Power ISO. Now, if you don't already have that installed, you might as well install it. So I'm just going to search for it, but I know I have it on my computer, right over there. So once that opens up, I'm just going to open it up. Power ISO should open up, and it's going to be showing you it's an unregistered copy. What you're going to do is click on um. Once it's done, just click on continue unregistered and it does not have to be registered. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on the torrent itself. Then you're going to click on this little power ISO option here. Now, if you do not have a drive selected, 
um, I definitely recommend the first thing you want to do it's gonna if it doesn't give you an option to mount image to drive what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on set number of drives and set it to as many drives as you want you can set up to eight uh, or up to 23 if you go to more now you can go we're gonna go to set one drive because this is one image we're gonna go ahead and set mount to image E so once it's gonna mount to image E it's either gonna bring up and power I uh, auto run which I don't think it will but if you doesn't go to your user and then go to computer then what you're gonna realize is gonna be simply right here you're gonna double click on this And once that double click is gonna run up this window right over here, just like a, just like it would on a standard CD. Then you click on OK, yes, and then it's gonna bring you guys OK here on the installation window, and it's gonna go ahead and prepare to install The Sims 3. It's gonna welcome the install shield for The Sims 3, and you click on Next. Then you click on Next again, but you're gonna select the country of where you're from. You click on United States of America because that's where I'm from. Then you click on accept the terms, you go through all this crap. Then you're going to enter the serial number. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and do that right now for you guys. Just copy and paste the serial number from here. And then um, once you have that right here, copy it. And then you're going to go right ahead and paste it in here. Then you click on next. Then you can click on typical right over here. Um, and then you click on install to begin the installation. So this is just the installation itself. This is the whole process itself. It's going to bring up individual processes eventually. But once it finishes installing, uh, this bar should be full. I'm going to pause the video and be right back to you guys when it's done installing. Once the main installation is finished, it's going to ask you if you would like to install the latest EA Download Manager. Now, I do recommend this because it will allow you to uh, download the patches released from EA from The Sims 3. So, I'm going to click on Next and make sure that is installed. And then, it's going to continue with the installation. It's going to give you the frozen wheel, but just wait for it and then it should go away. Recommend soon. And then, it's going to give you, once that's installed, it installs very quickly. You can go view, I'm, I'm not going to review the re readme because I don't want to, but I'm going to click on finish. Then the Sims 3 should be finished. The installation, the game right, should be right there. The game works 100%. I'm not going to play it because I, since I am recording in Camtasia, I don't want to play it because it does freeze up. But that's how you install the Sims 3 from uh, utorrent.com. If you guys like that video, please make sure to check out my uh, channel hdlx films also my website www.hdlxfilms.com for more tech review uh bye guys see you on my next one if you guys enjoyed that video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel using the link right below me here to keep fresh on the latest and greatest tech here on hdlx films